name and uh, acknowledge that yes, indeed, Luis Figo was a Barca player, yep. just like the ones that we saw in the last time that these two teams and, and legend. I'm particularly excited to see this man play right here. He was, of course, also the star of the last Barca Real Madrid. A great friend of his. Here's a little fun fact for you, Jamie. And well, plenty of fans here to see this. Ronaldinho with the long ball forward. There we go. Us off guard a little bit as we were preparing for this match. Shalom, Arnold. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Into the crowd. Well, how this game so far? You think it's going well? How do you find the tag of you? Here's Ronaldinho inside the boundary area. What can he do here? Playing to Ivan Campo. Oh. Ronaldinho, though, from distance. And he stretched Jordan. Possibly one of the biggest attacks. No hesitation, though. So you have to pull that trigger. Come with a, a, a lot of other commitments as well for these players. Uh, we chance here uh, for Barca, good combination play between Saviola, or, or debuting um, in uh, Tel Aviv, is it? And will make its uh, way around. Rivaldo on the edge of the area, slip for Ronaldinho on the edge of the area with the ball. Rolled and going on that occasion. We've seen him playing up high, we've seen him return drop back as well. Like you said before, he, he looked well, he looked well. It's uh, understandable as well, this club, right at the right moment as well. And we were just in dire need. And this is a nice attack. Oh, here! And he came off the cross just before the hour mark. So it would have been uh, you know, nearing 1 a.m. at that time. Uh, by Bradinho, when actually it, it was, you know, ignited in the stands and around the city as they say I mean he just uh, took us took the world by storm and uh, for to Ronaldinho long ball forward unfortunately hitting the post but is it worth mentioning as one of the overage players for Brazil another former Barca player I have no doubt about it Jamie Clearly. Again, Jamie, these are the two biggest clubs in the world. Well, that's uh, it. And the most fun. I don't think anyone expected anything less. This 30,000 capacity Bluefield Stadium has absolutely erupted. Bronx, I think Brazil that year, 2008, okay. if I remember correctly. Okay. Let's see what Brazil can do this year. However, they are. Emotions and passion. Um, passion or two other sporting institutions that really uh, broke that. The last time that I remember seeing the Camino pitch invaded as well, mind you. Uh, you know, players were, were hoisted up and, and, and carried on the beam, but um, yeah, I remember those days when uh, the, you had the Barcelona Dragons, Amsterdam Admirals. Nice, pal. Yeah. That was uh, not too sloppy. on the floor to prevent the, the ball from going. It's Rivaldo, though, there's well. no mistaking him. Nor this one, Ronaldinho. Just a bit lost over the these past two or three seasons. <laughs> we always see that one player that has go off, isn't it? Really, it is. Yes, as you can. We're reaching the edge of the first half. This first half, one nil. Then two Barcelona going into the break. The ball goes in the opposite direction. Ronaldinho to get things moving again. Then for this second, but those friendlies always, of course, great to. Uh, Ronaldinho with oh. a free kick, then it's Goldwood. The Brazilian national squad. I'd, and I'd rather not talk about him. <laughs> <laughs> he takes the corner then now. It's getting more goals and hopefully we can see some more offensive threat from the Catalan club as well. The friendly that will take place between Barca and Nastic. Two teams that met each other as well. of 7 p.m. Central European time as it was at home where the player will put on the entire Barca kit for the very first time before that he will take the pin. They used to play in the uh, first division for um, several seasons.